Hi, today I'm here with Dan Hansen and my daughter Olivia, and we're working on the forehand drive. And we're gonna talk about the technique, and then we're gonna do something special and slow it down and isolate it in super slow-mo so you get to see it in high fashion. One of the things we're working on here with Olivia's forehand is a compact backswing, contact out in front, notice the open stance, loading on the right leg, reaching out in front, good extension. Even off the back foot, you can still roll it if you have a team that plays off the net a little bit. <laughs> Hit. Good. When I play with Olivia a lot of times, the thing I'll tell her, anytime there's a ball that she can hit, she should be hitting. So one of the things when you are hitting a high power, when you do have a high powered forehand, it does require really good footwork. To try and get in position and keep looking to find that forehand. Moving inside, footwork, setting up, contact in front. And just yesterday I was mentioning the racket speed required is very important so she can still make that ball come up and down even in a short court like paddle. It's very difficult to make that ball, to hit the forehand that big and to make it give yourself margins requires a tremendous amount of racket speed especially when it gets low like that. She still makes it stay in. She can still hit big. And that one was out. All right, first thing you're gonna notice with Olivia's forehand is she leads with the racket head up and the master sign facing the side, but she already has her shoulder turn. She knows she's gonna be hitting a forehand, even though she's moving to the right. The butt cap is now facing the ball and she covers it, which allows her to spin and get back into her corner for another forehand. Here it is, early preparation. Racket head above the hand, and then it goes back. It's still compact. She drops below the ball with the butt cap and then rolls it up and over the ball. You'll notice between Olivia and Dan, Olivia may not get as much clearance on some of these. Racket head up off her back foot here. So she's gonna hopefully be, there you can see how her racket head is below the ball, which allows her to get the clearance and the height over the net. A lot of people line the racket up with the ball. Again, early prep, good shoulder turn, leading with the left shoulder, left hand parallel to the baseline, contact in front of the body, Left leg, it's a semi-open. She's stepping in, but the left is not in her way. So she can continue to rotate around the ball and over the top of it. When you look at Dan, his forehand is different, but the fundamentals remain the same. The loading on the outer leg, the racket speed he can put on the ball from anywhere to get his spin, sorry, and the contact in front. You'll notice even on a deep ball, he gets behind it and makes it dip with good racket speed. And this is a very difficult volley ball to be volleying against because when he hits it that big, even if you don't move your paddle, it tends to jump off it and go out. So here you notice Dan leads actually with his hand with the racket head still forward. That's because he has a full Western grip. And then you'll notice he gets tremendous racket speed. And then he gets the wrist going forward. So now his butt cap is facing the ball and he's loading with an open stance. He's lefty, so he's loading on his left foot. And then he comes up and covers the ball nicely, which makes the ball dip. Dan's driving in this video from the green, but he hits with nice neck clearance. So he does a nice controlled drive where he's not looking to win, but he's looking to get clearance and maybe dip it 
on the off net person. So again, open stance, leading with his wrist because of the extreme western, and he gets tremendous whip action here with the butt cap leading and the covering of the ball, and he's moving into the court in case he gets a short volley. Here it is from the back view. It's amazing how look at the butt cap facing backwards as the ball bounces and how high his hand is above the head. This is going to allow him to get a tremendous pendulum action of dropping and then coming from below the ball. Now you notice how low his racket is compared to the ball. He is going to now come up and cover it to make it high over the net. Look at his clearance there up by my shoulders, but not going out. And that makes it a hard ball to volley because there's so much action and his ball is dipping. Early prep leads with the racket, the butt cap. Racket gets below the ball and he's coming up and over and making a dip. I love how he covers that forehand. Here's a short ball. Again, you can see the side of the racket and the extreme grip he has. And then that part faces the bottom, then the hand and butt cap. And there he does a little roll off a very low ball in the blue where he's just trying to roll it at their body. Early prep, open stance, a little bit off his back foot here. He's just rolling it to the off player, whichever player is at the net, and he's driving from the green because he has such confidence in being able to make them volley. He's not hitting these drives with the intent to win. Up and covering of the ball. And here's a really good one where he gets into position, and here he starts trying to get some weight transfer. If you notice, now... He's getting a little more weight on his front foot because he's going to be moving forward a little bit more and it's a little more extension. So that makes that drive even heavier to handle as a volley. Time's up. Thank you so much for watching the video and please do me a favor and subscribe and ring the bell. And my promise to you before I go, is if you watch all these one minute clinics you too can become a national champion well maybe she could still hit big and that one was out